Hello, my name is Saskia. Let's talk about pH measurements. It's probably the most common analytical parameter that is being measured in laboratories and production environments all over the world. Typically, the instrument used for pH measurements is an electrode, a glass electrode, but there are several alternatives available that may be more suitable for your application in terms of ease of use, safety, and also the handling and portability. Let me give you a quick overview of a certain semi-quantitative and quantitative pH measurements that are available and that could work in your workflow. Let's take a look. Here I have a variety of different options to measure pH with visual and instrumental readout, both semi-quantitatively and quantitatively. We have the option to read out liquid samples, test strip readout, test strip readout with smartphone, and quantitative readout with the test strip reader. Let's start with mQuant liquid. If you have liquid samples, you can measure the pH by putting your sample into the vessels with a syringe and then creating a color reaction of your sample and comparing it to the colors given on the color card. If you're looking for a very easy and simple solution to test your pH very fast, mQuant test strips and papers may be a suitable option for you. It is especially noteworthy that mQuant test strips are non-bleeding, which means they do not transfer any chemicals from the test strip into your sample. And they're really quite easy to use. You just dip your strip in your sample and then you compare the color reaction with the given colors on the box. Noteworthy is, for instance, when you use extremely turbid or, or unhomogeneous samples, that if they are clouding or making the test strip dirty, you can flip those test strips over and you will have the option to compare the sample nonetheless. An exciting new addition to test strip readout is our option to use mQuant strip skin, an app that's available on iOS and Android, to read out your test strip with your smartphone. This adds the additional comfort of not having to guess colors anymore, and you have instant documentation and traceability. So what you do here is you dip your test strip and click your parameter. And while the parameter is counting down, you place your test strip on the reference card and perform the readout via the smartphone camera. A final option, if you really want results that are quantitative, you can choose the ArcuFlex 20 to perform pH measurements with reflector quant test strips. And also, just as with other reflector quant tests, you insert the test strips and the instrument will read out the result for you. I hope this quick overview helps you to find the method that is most suitable for your application for pH measurement. For more information, you can find application notes online, click the links in the description, and watch the other videos on this channel. Thanks for watching.